Peace fam, this is Mustafa Talks Tech, your digital marketing specialist and tech evangelist, coming at you again with another video. On this subject, this particular podcast video episode, what I would like to talk about is a subject of Suge Knight has a podcast from prison. So what is your excuse not to start one? Suge Knight has a podcast from prison. Let that sink in. So what is your excuse not to start one? Suge Knight, for those who may not be familiar, he is the or he was the co-founder of Death Row Records in the early 90s, which came to fame producing and producing albums from Dr. Dre to Chronics, Snoop Dogg, Doggy Style, also Tupac, All Eyes on Me, The Dog Pound, um, Dog Food, and many other artists in between. And they had a dominant run from like the mid 90s, excuse me, from the um, early 90s to the mid 90s. You know, Death Row was dominant. They was putting out hit after hit, soundtrack after soundtrack, song after song producing you know giving us new talent and new artists you know and death row was just synonymous with that whole west coast rise in rap music and hip-hop only equal to maybe by bad boy records with um puff daddy or p diddy featuring artists like faith evans the notorious big craig mack and uh mace and other musical artists you know it was either Death Row or Bad Boy. It was just those dominant comp record companies with those dominant musical artists. But um, Suge Knight was the co-founder of that and was the CEO of Death Row Records. And after his dominant run, he had legal problems and he went to prison in the late 90s, got out, um, had some mishaps here and there. And as of late, he was sent back to prison uh, a few years ago to serve a lengthy sen sentence. But all that to say, to set up the background of um, Suge Knight, he, um, he's very influential in the world of hip hop. Um, he has a lot of opinions, uh, a lot of inside knowledge of being the man in the place and seeing a lot of things. So people naturally want to hear from Suge Knight and hear his perspective on things and hear some behind the scenes stories of what may have really went down or what was going on so set that up that um present suge knight has a podcast from prison and this podcast was the idea of him and david mays um one of the founders of the source magazine which was also a dominant periodical for rap and hip-hop music in the you know that 90s run you know the source was that magazine that really brought you you know unsigned hype brought you the new artist information kept you up with the latest albums gave you the behind the scenes even had you know um hip-hop gossip if you will and just really you know let you know a lot of things so you got these two dominant figures you know david mays represented the source suge knight and his whole background coming together now to produce this podcast and this podcast is called Collect Calls because as Suge Knight is incarcerated, he's in prison, he can't come out to a studio and formally record podcast episodes. So the name of this um, podcast show is Collect Calls, where someone has to call into the prison. Suge Knight speaks on the phone. The call is recorded and then it's um, edited and uploaded as a podcast episode i think they've done a few episodes already they have a few more in the gun ready to be fired and um this is a big thing is people are very interested from, from my um scrolling of social media myself included a lot of people are very interested in this podcast from suge knight collect calls and um i had to admit i'm gonna be tuning in you know every week or however so often they drop those episodes because um Regardless of what you think about Suge Knight with his legal matters or criminal um, situations and involvement, that um, he built one of the most popular and financially lucrative um, record labels, as I say, in the early 90s to about the mid 90s, they had that little run. So um, his insight is not to be slept on or 
disregard it. So I'll, I'll be listening in just to hear some, you know, some old stories about the death row times, hear about Tupac, Dre, um, Snoop, hear about his other interaction with other artists. And yeah, to take with a grain of salt, you know, what's true and what's not. But um, the fact is that the point I'm getting to for the point of this episode is that we have a man that is in prison who by all means is locked away who is limited in his ability to do certain things but yet with modern technology he's able to speak through and from and beyond a prison and he is on podcast right now so the title of the talk tonight is suge knight has a podcast from prison so what is your excuse not to start one you're not in prison, I assume. You're not locked down so many hours a day. You don't have your movements restricted. You are not deprived of uh, technological equipment that you could record and edit and upload a podcast. So I just want you to think about everything that he has going up against him, but yet he still found a way to get his voice out to the public, to the world, you know, to hear what he has to say. So what excuse do you have not to start a podcast? Podcasting is still a very popular, very fruitful um, platform for you to get out. If you have a voice, if you have something that you want to say, if you have a perspective that you want to present, if you have expertise that you would like to talk on, whether you want to talk about health, whether you want to talk about exercise and whether you want to talk about financial or money making or e-commerce. You know, if you want to talk about um, social media, if you want to talk about entertainment, there's just so many different lanes that's out there that you can talk about through podcasting. And when you set up your own podcast platform, then you're not restricted or there's no overlord or someone telling you what you can't say or, you know, don't go too far left or don't go too far right, that you literally can set up your own platform. And you can speak your authentic truths and say what you need to say and get your message out to the people. And podcasting has several benefits where it first allows you to be established as an authority. You know, when you get on that podcast and week after week after week, once you dedicate yourself to a niche and you become known as the authority and the person who's dominant in that niche, meaning not that you there's no one else that knows what you know. There's not saying that someone can know more than you or better than you. But once you become consistent and people associate you, who you are with that particular niche or that knowledge base that you're um, explaining, then you become a subject matter expert. You become a person who's an authority in that. And as you do this over and over, you build up your ranking as an authority. So your words begin to have weight. So that's one of the benefits of having a podcast that, you know, if you want to go into, you know, exercise and you every week start talking about exercise, sharing your own experience, giving your own testimony or giving those quick tips and nuggets of um, uh, tips of how they can, you know, improve their exercise regimen or set up an exercise regimen or be more successful in the exercise regimen. Then, you know, you become the authority in that. Second. Podcasting will allow you to build trust. Um, anybody can set up a website. Anybody can set up, you know, blogs and social media pages, and all of those are good. But when you at, when you um, start podcasting and people can hear you and they can see you, you know, it starts to build a trust and a likability. Where the more they see you, they begin to feel, hey, I know this guy. I know this this woman. Hey, this is someone who I trust, someone that I lean my ear towards, someone that I trust their opinions, I trust their perspectives, I trust their expertise. And you can build that up over time where you become a trustworthy advisor and an expert in whatever niche that you are trying to go into. And then you can, um, you know, you can parlay that into different things, you know, as the book says by Dale Carnegie how to win friends what and influence them so you have to win a friend first then you influence them 
So you can win friends by building trust and likability through podcasting. And once you win a friend and you establish trust and likability, then you can come with different products. You can come with different services. You can come with one-on-one consulting because what? You want a friend. Now you can influence your friend. Now you can tell your friend, hey, I got merch. Hey, friend, I got affiliate. Hey, friend, I got this uh, coaching service. Hey, friend, I got this um, this program going on. Hey, friend, I got this course. There's so many ways you can swing that once you build up the likability and the trust factor by winning friends and then influencing your friends. So those are two things that are powerful with podcasting. Uh, the next thing that's very, very powerful about podcasting is that you don't have to have a full-fledged studio to be a podcaster. Um, you can pod, you can literally set up a podcast through your smartphone. You can literally record through the audio um, device on your smartphone. You literally can edit that podcast audio through your smartphone. You can literally upload that audio to your podcasting host of choice on your smartphone. You literally can market, share, let everybody know about your podcast through your smartphone. So I say all that to say that don't be intimidated or think the um, the barriers to entry are so high and insurmountable that, hey, I don't have a studio. I don't have a mic. I don't have, you know, um, you know, thousands of dollars worth of equipment. I can't start a podcast right now. If you got a smartphone, Android, or iPhone, I'm an iPhone guy, so I'm going to, you know, tout to my iPhone. But point being, if you have a smartphone, you can literally enter podcasting tomorrow. You can go to the website, your podcasting host of choice. I use um, what used to be called Anchor, which is now um, Spotify for podcasters. Excellent podcasting platform. I love it. It's free. You know, so the barrier to entry of money, that's erased. Sign it, put your name, your email address, other contact information, name your podcast, uh, write a description about what that podcast is about. And then it's going the next thing you're going to do is upload. They're going to give you the option to upload your per, your first um, podcast. And then, as I say, you can record that podcast through the um, voice device on your phone. Um, Android or iPhone, go in there, record something, upload it, title it, describe to give it a description. Boom, you're in podcasting in less than 24 hours. You're a podcaster. And um, once you get that first episode up, the good thing about podcasting, once you publish it one time, then you have what's called an RSS really simple syndication. And you can take that RSS, really simple syndication, that code they're going to give you. And then you can link it up where your podcast, you post one time, right? And then it will instantly share to Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, uh, Spotify or host it automatically because they're connected. And you can share this podcast to five, six, seven different platforms just by posting it one time once you set up your RSS and have it synced with all these different podcast hosts. You could be all over the done podcast universe just by posting one time. So it's so many benefits and so many pros to podcasting. And if you're trying to do any digital marketing or any social media marketing, you know, podcasting is such a powerful tool in your tool set of being able to produce content because um i do a lot of video content and before i before i go further let me just um, say that as i t- to the benefits of podcasts it's not the only tool in your toolkit that you know you have to be able to be versatile and use a lot of different tools i use i think nearly all of them i'm on social media um i'm on youtube um i have a blog i do have a podcast i do have a landing page I do have a um, downloadable ebook, uh, building a uh, mailing list. Um, I do, I, I do it all. Um, I'm, on, I'm on TikTok. I just got on TikTok um, a few weeks ago, and I'm figuring it out. And I'm, you know, really loving it. The engagement is awesome on TikTok. I'm on major social media platforms. So going back to um, 
what I was getting to is that, you know, podcasting is just a really powerful tool in your toolkit because say you have a YouTube channel, right? And YouTube is powerful too. You know, that video content can't be discounted or disregarded either. But, um, you know, as, as well as I did, YouTube is visual. It's audio, but it's also visual. So typically when someone's on YouTube, it's something they have to watch. You know, they're on their smartphone watching YouTube videos, watching YouTube videos. But people may want to digest information, but they may not necessarily have the time commitment to be glued with their eyes to their phone at that time to watch a YouTube video. That's where podcasting come in and is a really good benefit because with podcasting, you can repurpose that same YouTube video, strip the audio of it, upload it to your podcasting um, hosting service of your choice. And now a person can put in some AirPods, put in some um, AirPods or some um, some um, headphones, and they can take that podcast to go. See, whereas before they were logged into having to look at their phone, look at a YouTube video, now they can listen. Now that they have that podcast streaming through their earbuds, through their uh, AirPods, right? So now they're mobile. They can be mobile and listening, you know, any time of the day. They can be at the gym working out, and but they got them, they got them uh, headphones in, they got them earbuds in, and so now they're listening to everything you're saying on the podcast. You know, they can be have, they can have some downtime at work, and they may not be able to watch a a literal uh, YouTube video, but they can put them earbuds in, they can listen to you. You know, they may be in the kitchen trying to prepare um, the dinner for that night or, you know, chop up some um, some vegetables, you know, prepare the meal. And they don't, they don't have time to literally sit there and watch a video, but they're listening to you. That podcast is booming in their ear. They're hearing what you're saying. And, you know, so many different examples. You know, they can be doing their workout. They can be doing their jog, their daily walk. And, you know, jogging and walking, you're not going to be watching a YouTube video while you're jogging or walking. But you can put them, you can put them um, earbuds in, and you can be listening while you're walking, while you're jogging. So um, that's another benefit of uh, podcasting that it allows you to reach into another audience who may be too busy or just don't have the time commitment to be able to watch your YouTube videos. Now you give them another option to listen to you and hear you. And so if you do that, then Along in conjunction with you know your YouTube strategy, your blogging strategy, your social media strategy, do it all. Don't be limited. Don't don't be into an either or mentality where well if I do podcasting I can't no do it all. And in other videos, if you go on my YouTube channel, um or my podcast, if you're listening to me on this video, uh, listen to this message, um I show you how you can repurpose one piece of information. And repurpose it different ways. Turn it into a blog post. Turn it into memes. Turn it into video. Turn it to podcast, and vice versa. You can do it all. So, don't be limited. Just uh, open your mind and um, check out podcasting. And if you need any more motivation that it can be done and it should be done, just look to the example of Suge Knight. Again, I'm going to t- say the title of this podcast because it says it all. Suge Knight has a podcast from prison. So what is your excuse not to start one? Go ahead and start that podcast, fam. You got something you got to say and you need to say and you're trying to build a brand. Go ahead and start that podcast, fam. I'm telling you, man. Um, There are many different platforms that you can choose. You may ask, well, what should I choose? Um, I would say just to be safe. Go ahead and start with uh, Spotify for podcasters. It's a good start. It's free. It's very user-friendly, very simple and straightforward. Um, You can upload those episodes through. They have an app that you can download, Spotify for podcasters, so everything is in there. Just record that audio on your phone, upload it with your app to your um, podcasting platform, and then just start promoting just start telling everybody about it. Start bringing people into your uh, podcast world. Let people know you got a voice and you got something you need to say. And then um, Spotify for podcasters, they have a way where you can monetize this, you know, where over time you can build an audience and then people can support you monetarily as you're giving off useful information. So it's, it's just so, so many wins with podcasting. 
Um, I love podcasting. Um, just to give you my story and testimony, I started podcasting back in 2020. And this was during the time of the pandemic, right? So I had a lot of downtime at work. And what I started doing is putting in my earbuds and just, earpods, earbuds and just start listening to all these different podcasts for like two hours in the morning before work. The workload would really pick up and start for that day. And I would just listen to all these different podcasts for two hours. And I just fell in love with it because I was able to be mobile at work and do some of my tasks. But I was listening to all these um, podcasts. And I was like, man, it's so much useful information going in my ear every morning. And so every morning I would dedicate about two hours just listening to all these different podcasts that were education in nature, teaching me skills, teaching me tips, giving me insider and information. And I was like, man. And then at some point I got the bright idea, I can do this. You know, I have some information floating in my head as well. And I would like to share some useful information and inspire people and motivate people and let people know some um, some directions and paths that they can take. So I started me a podcast in December of 2020, I believe it was. Yep, December 2020. And uh, it was one of the best journeys of my life. I ended up producing nearly 100 episodes of that podcast. I discontinued. I don't do that particular podcast anymore. I just, it was more therapeutic for me to get some things out and talk about some subjects, political, religious, social, um, justice, and just a lot of different things. I was expressing a um, side of myself and I felt like I've accomplished that. So I don't go back into that particular podcast, but it's out there. And um, it was a great experience. Um, just allow me to just get out there and let my voice be heard and inspiring people and talking to people and letting people hear from me. And so when I started the Mustafa Talks Tech platform, it wasn't hard for me to transition over to this particular brand and start a podcast under this brand. And I already had all the experience, all the know-how, so it wasn't me um, trying to figure it out now, just hit the ground running. And, you know, I have, you know, Mustafa Talks Tech podcast as well as YouTube channel where you can see me or hear me. So, yeah, that's that's um, pretty much my subject. Uh, Suge Knight has a podcast from prison. So what is your excuse not to start one? Go ahead and start it. Um, if you have any questions and you need some further assistance in starting your podcast, I'd be more than happy to uh, share some of my knowledge with you and give you some tip some tips. Um Put your questions in the comment under whichever platform you're hearing this on, whether it's uh, my Facebook, whether it's my, uh, where it's LinkedIn or YouTube or the podcast, you know, just put something in the comments and um, I'll see it and I can respond right there. If it's something that you need more in depth with, we'll find another way to link up and hook up and talk. Um, you can call, you can text me, uh, you can call or text me, uh, but text will be more better on my business line. That's 850-304. 2882. Again, that number is 850 304 2882. And it's also floating down down here. That's my number. You can call me, but you'll get a better response if you just text me. Um, I may not be in a position to take a call at the moment, but I'm always able to at some point break away and do some respond to some texts and do some text chatting. So uh, if you've got some questions, man, feel free to check um reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to help you in your podcast and journey as much as I can and get you up and going and show you some show you some things. All right. So this is Mustafa Talks Tech, your digital marketing specialist, tech evangelist. Um if you're on any of my channels, whether it's uh Facebook, uh LinkedIn or YouTube, go ahead if we're not connected by chance, just go ahead and um, subscribe, like, connect, um, share, you know, if you find this message useful and inf and um informational. Go ahead and share it with a friend, a family member, or someone that may be, you know, looking for some information about podcasting. This episode is not exhaustive. There's so many different other things that I could say, but I just hope I got most people to that first step of being able to start a podcast. And in future episodes, maybe we can go a little more in depth and break it down. I can show you some different things and um, really make that thing pop, man, because, um, you know, everybody has a platform today. Your 15 minutes of fame is right now. So Mustafa Talks Tech, peace. See you on the next episode.